the sixth stop on the Wiesman World Cup men's skeleton tour. They moved to the Olympic Bobon in Saint Moritz, Salerno, Switzerland. In fourth place at the end of the first run, Canadian John Fairborn. He had never medaled before in the World Cup circuit. Had his best finish ever in their first race this weekend in Friday. Two skeleton races held there this weekend. Johnny Fairburn pilots down the track. Third best time of the run. First overall by just five hundredths of a second. Fairburn can do no worse than fourth. He's his best finish ever no matter what. Now here comes the veteran Christian Bromley from Great Britain. Medaled on this track. Won on this track before. But on the bottom part of the track, Bromley falls. Eighth best time of the, re of the heat. And Fairburn wins his first World Cup medal ever. Bromley, though, has his best finish of the season. Now, a couple Latvians. Thomas Dukar, second place at the end of the first round. Look at this form. You talk about melding like butter on a sled. Dukars, track record at the bottom. Fastest time of the run. He's in first. But he's way behind his brother, Marthys Dukars, who had such a huge lead in the first run. Now, Dukars is in the first of three races. If he wins every heat, he wins 100,000 euros. And here, the second run at St. Moritz, he boasts a track record. He wins both heats of the day, wins this third straight gold medal of 2014, and he's on his way to win the $100,000 prize. Just two more races to go. Here's our final standing. Superman wins again. Here's our World Cup standings. No surprise, he's the top of the leaderboard there, too. For FIBT Television, I'm John Morgan.